here we have the uh, flex radio systems 6700 a software defined radio it is their top of the line product and I think it's also the fastest uh, uh, software defined radio direct sampling radio on the market it has two parallel direct sampling receivers that have an ultra fast uh, digital signal processors as well as an FPGA that handles the uh, the front end of the sampler and like I said there are two of those it runs at a very high speed I think the uh, D2A converter that's uh, used here is the fastest on the market still I actually don't see those getting much faster anymore so the technology might have peaked but this radio has that high-end uh, hardware and of course also the software to go with it flex radio is still improving that this radio has the latest software it's the smart SDR SDR version 3.112 the latest uh, uh, that you can buy uh, it also has obviously the license for that version uh, revision 3 software uh, flex radio requires you to buy that every time when a new revision comes out anyway let's turn it on uh, it will do uh, some calibration and self tests I'm not exactly sure what it's calibrating probably the master oscillator although you can also do that from the main menu which we'll show you later uh, it has a microphone but you can also use the microphone in your uh, computer that you connect to it I'll show you that in a minute there is uh, a phones and there is a uh, front entrance front jack for a uh, CW key of course we got a, uh, a OLED display uh, this is actually the uh, protective plastic that's still on there it was never removed um, anyway so it's doing its calibrating once that's done we'll start the software on the PC it connects through an RJ45 uh, Ethernet you can either connect it to the Ethernet system in your home uh, through a router or you can connect the RJ45 directly from this Ethernet port to the PC which is what I actually have done here um, but like I said you can do both uh, this one uh, has the optional rack handles that is not standard you have to buy that a little bit childish for flex radio but hey you know it is what it is anyway the radio is running as you see did all self tests all calibration and whatever and here we have a laptop pretty fast laptop and as you can see we have the smart SDR there which we will open Okay, starting up. I was now listening radio, to a repeater on two meters. This uh, is uh, uh, capable uh, of uh, two meters uh, as well, uh, and, uh, and of course uh, all the uh, HF general, bands to complete uh, shortwave so, uh, from uh, uh, what is it, 10 kilohertz to so I don't know, two meters, I guess. But yeah, it's, uh, so right now we have yeah, it on two it's, meters this radio is capable of of having 16 hey, uh, receivers yeah, 16 receivers running in parallel they call them slices here I can create a slice and I can listen to a second uh, a second station or I can open a completely new um, window after which we um, we can listen to uh, other bands so for instance let's go to let's go to the 20 meter band which is what you have here I have an incredibly noise high noise level here and there is nothing going on in 20 meters few stations and here you can see that I can open another window for instance if I want to listen to uh, what 
160 meters, 440 meters, then I can do that. So I can listen on different bands. I can listen on different receivers within that band. And I think I can open up to four different bands and up to four different receivers within that band. So that's 16 parallel running receivers at the same time. Anyway, this laptop is obviously not ideal for making a recording. So I have some other videos where I did the recording directly from the PC, which I'll show you in a minute. And, um, and that actually looks a lot better. As you can see, the Flex 70, uh, 6700 or so works on two meters. the difference between narrow FM and standard FM. This is narrow. This is wide. This is narrow. Anyway, what I wanted to show you quickly is the uh, function of the transmitter. So for that we'll switch to the dummy load. Which is what I have now. And we'll use the uh, microphone that came with the radio, so the front microphone. Like I said, you can also use the microphone in the computer, but then you have to toggle that on this menu here. I'm not going to go through the entire software, but here you can see you can either do the uh, PC microphone or you can do a line microphone, balance microphone. There's a jack for that on the back. Line microphone, but we'll go to the standard microphone. And we get about one, two, three. We we get about a hundred and ten watts. I can also use the tune for that. If I tune at maximum, you see it shows VSWR here, which is good for my antenna. And this is the power level that you see then, about 125 watts. And we have a good. Uh, there's nothing coming back which you would expect with a good dummy load of course but that's the kind of power we're talking about you can throttle that power down for instance if I want to tune with less power then I can do that and if I want to transmit with less power I can do that too which, which is nice if you have to drive one of those high gain amplifiers uh, it really has a good uh, uh, limiter for the power levels. Let's try 
a different band. Here we are at the 160 meter band and my tune power there is a little bit over 100 watt. Let's go to the uh, 10 meter band and there I get Oh, I still have it at low power. There I get... Hang on. There I get 120. Now the radio can do 6 meters, so let's try that as well. And let's see what we get if I tune with maximum power. And I get almost 100 watts. Oop, my... Uh, FESWR is not that great. I guess the dummy load, well, it looks okay. Maybe I can use the tuner. Let's try that. Let's see what happens when I do that. Auto tuner. And then I go to high power. No, that didn't really do it. Anyway, but that's the. Uh, the 6 meter band, so the radio covers any amateur band. And, uh, or multiple bands, depending where you want to listen. Works quite well. Here you see the uh, rear apron. Now this is the RJ45 Ethernet connector. Like I said, it either goes to your router, your home network, or directly into the laptop. One to one. Or you can have this radio controlled from anywhere in the world through the uh, in internet. That is also possible with the latest software that is available for this radio. This is a balanced input for a professional microphone. We got a speaker, we got two USBs. Uh, we got, uh, that's kind of nice, power pole, 13.8 volt. I wish, uh, I wish all radios had that particular connector. An accessory connector, 10 megahertz reference if you want that. GPS antenna is an optional uh, GPS receiver that the uh, uh, 10 megahertz reference uh, can be derived from. There is a, a ALC, there is a remote, this is basically if you want to use an external amplifier. Uh, these are outputs for, uh, uh, I think, different kind of uh, transfers, not 100% sure. This is also a, a transfer output if you want to use 2 meters with a higher power level, you can use a... Uh, 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 power uh, amplifier because like I said it can do two meters but uh, it doesn't give off a lot of power it's uh, expected to have an external amplifier for that uh, external receiver in and outputs that uh, is convenient if you have a separate receiver antenna like a beverage antenna or something and this is the main uh, uh, antenna there is an antenna 1 and antenna 2 that you can switch uh, from the uh, uh, computer screen so it's pretty elaborate. You see the uh, construction is very professional. Actually, uh, my understanding that Flex supplies a lot of stuff to the military as well. So that's probably why this looks like a professional piece of equipment. Very nice.